working let me show you the working of my whole project because it's like uh, we have come all the things but we have to see working right what actually it is working and how we are going to control that so let me start with that with that so firstly i just want to show you about iot so let us go with the basic like first let me go for the iot then i'll show you manual how by switching the device how i can control it without internet so firstly you can see there is a blink app i just uh, placed a buttons here so there will be a four buttons for my four wheeler drive which is at the bottom and then again eight buttons are there one will be for forward one motor and then will be reverse for another motor so it says that whatever my drawer system is there two have to configure that one more uh, pin i have to give for a forward so the drawer will get open so just uh, and you can uh, click on a reverse so drawer will get closed so this is how i have just configured that and here you can see that there are the four pins at the downward so what at that four pins one is been for giving a light should get on every and then second we have kept as a coolant fan whenever we require we should on that coolant fan and then third for the forward motor of my topmost motor which is there where i am going to set a tab and then next is for reverse of that particular motor only we have to uh, reverse to rotate that particular motor and then operate it so this how this has been configured so you can see that how whatever the pin description i have given here so you can see it has been different for all the things as i explained in my previous video about programming that how we have to define the virtual pins differently so you can see how it has been started v1 v2 v3 v4 so like that it been gone to v16 so in this manner all the four node mcus are been connected only with one server and only with one user so only one user will communicate with all the four node mcus and it can be get operated next up we have to just uh, say here a play so there will be a play and we have to connect it with a wifi by owning your hotspot and all and then once it get connected you can just use so i'll just show you a forward and reverse movement of my particular robot so just you can see that when you just press this or both both keys it will go forward so my whole robot is going forward there so and you can just monitor that how the system is going all the four motors are running at a time and it is going forward and you should just leave it and when you leave it will stop and then again you have to press uh, two buttons which will go reverse so it will turn a uh, reverse direction if i required want to come back from that particular path i can come reversely and next again here i have just have used for taking the left or right you can just place you can make this for up whatever the front motors are there that you can make one motor has a forward and then one motor has a reverse so that it will get exactly turn so when you want to turn in one particular direction you just go across uh, direction switches so you should press two switches uh, because one one will go has a forward and another will go has a reverse so exactly turning it will be taken so if you want to turn as a right or left you can just press another two buttons so this how you have a control for all the four motors of the base and next see here you have this pins right so what actually that pin does first you need to connect, uh, make a forward of this particular d1 so the drawer is getting open where you can observe that in background there is a drawer is getting open and it's coming out so that whenever i just want to give a medicine i just have to keep a on button and there will be a one particular location that it should come that much distance only after that distance comes you should off this button and just on a reverse one after taking the medicine on the reverse one the drawer will get closed automatically so in the sense like when it get closed we need to off this one particular switch next second drawer so second drawer same thing we have to just repeat the process we have to click one button as a forward and when drawer comes out we have to take out the medicines or anything which you have kept in that drawer and then you have to off that particular switch and then go for a reverse button when you press a reverse it will come as a close uh, drawer 
so this how you have a total control on your all the four drawers even what you can do is you just no need to only communicate with your drawers or with your node images with this only four button you have a manual switches also so that sometimes if you get errors if you get anything like a problem in network issue or anywhere so you can manually set the uh, like you can manually set the switches on or off and you can control the particular drawer system so this how all this eight motors will be controlled so you can see how i'll just uh, make one one video like uh, i will be showing you one uh, clip so you can just observe i'll just on all the four drawers once only i'll just on all the four drawers once only so that you will be getting uh, how all the drawers are coming out so just uh, make a forward uh, on for all buttons one on for a forward so all the four uh, buttons are been on and then uh, then off all one by one you should off so it will get off all the four drawers also once only you can open and once only you can closed by pressing a reverse so it will be like uh, the process of opening and closing the drawer next you have a four switches so one will be placed for the upward see here when we press on button the motor will start running so that it will be go rotating around so when wherever which location you just want to observe uh, at the particular location when it comes off it and then again if you want on it and again if you want off it so in this way you can switch on and switch off your motor of a tap so that you can monitor the whole room by standing on one particular okay you don't need to use this all four keys you can just use a only a single key and you can just observe the whatever surrounding atmosphere is going on and next these are the three buttons which has been almost we have to keep on only because the coolant as it should be continuous on and then light if it is required of a light to, to check the circuit to open the circuit and then check what all errors are getting where or uh, if any pin is missing or what if any wire is came out so that time we can use this particular for monitoring or maintenance the purpose of our circuit diagram so this how there was a working so i'll be showing you even switches also like for i can say that uh, whatever now you have seen that is a full iot so iot you have seen what how with the help of mobile application we can access it's not like that that you have to stay by taking this one particular device in front of a device only you can sent anywhere you can just sit anywhere in any corner of the world and you can access this particular robot by sitting there it's been uh, done in a such a way that you have a total control on your device by manually also as well as automatic also 